Okay, so your next question, what is 60% of 250? Pause the video, try to figure this out, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so there's multiple different ways to approach percent questions, and the formula that I'm going to teach you right here is not one that you'll find in most GED prep books, but when I was doing a lot of in-person tutoring, I found that this formula was really helpful for students. So if you want to use the approach I'm going to teach here, which I think is the easiest way in, in my humble opinion, uh, then you'll want to memorize this is over of equals percent over 100 because you won't find this certainly won't be given to you on your test. And I also don't think a lot of textbooks teach this method. So you'll definitely, definitely want to memorize it. But basically all you have to do is you just look at the different parts that you're given here. All right. So it says, what is 60%? So in the formula where we see the percent sign, you're going to take 60 and you're going to substitute it in, in place of the percent sign. So that's what I did right here, right? So we have percent over 100. I took this percent sign, I replaced it with 60. And again, I did that because it just says 60% right here. So now in the formula where it says the word of, I see 250, it says of, 250. So all I'm going to do is take that 250. I'm going to substitute it into the equation for the word of, which I did down here. Now, what's the question actually asking us to find? It says, what is? What is? That's the question. So is, well, we don't know what that is. That what that is yet. That's what we're trying to find. So we're going to take is and we're going to replace it with a variable because that's what we're, we're trying to find. So I just replaced it with an X. You could use A, you could use B. It doesn't really matter. But we now want to find what X is. So the way we do this, we're just going to do some basic algebra. So this is X divided by 250. So what we have to do to get X by itself is we want to do the opposite operation of division because it's x divided by 250. So the opposite the opposite of division is multiplication. So we want to multiply by 250 and if we do this what's going to happen? Well we now have 250 times x over 250. The 250s are going to cancel out because 250 divided by 250 equals 1. So it would really be 1 times x. We don't write the 1, so we're just left with the x. And there's a rule in math, and particularly in solving equations, that whatever you do to one side, you also have to do it to the other. Okay, so now we're just going to do some multiplication here. So we, we, you could put it in your calculator, 60 times 250 divided by 100, and the answer is 150. So if you want to read the written solution to this, there's two parts to it. You can pause the video on each part and read it. If not, we'll keep rolling right along. 